Today we will be talking about the Bortonaceae, otherwise known as the borage plant family. Some of the most common species of these plants are the borage, forget-me-nots, and viper's blue gloss. Known most commonly to be herbs, these plants can also be shrubs or trees with multiple stems. The Bortonaceae plant family is the kingdom plantae. They are part of the angiosperms, the flowering plant clade, and are all eudicots. Here you can see the borage family in relation to some other families of flowering plants. This is the laurel family, a family of basal angiosperms, and this is the amaryllis family, a family of monocots. The rest of the families shown are eudicots. And here you see our family, the borage family, and the most closely related family we are talking about in class, the mint family, which it was actually once classified with. Now, within this one family, there are approximately 148 genera, and it has been estimated to contain well over 2,700 species, ranging in all types of shapes and sizes. They can be found throughout the tropical, subtropical, and temperate regions of the world, and are found worldwide in places such as the United States, Europe, Asia, and Africa. This versatility and climate preference allows for members of the Borogenes E family to thrive nearly anywhere their seeds end up after being carried by birds or other fauna. Now let's talk about the structures of a flower and the terms we use to describe them. Within a flower, there are four whorls it can have. The calyx, or sepals, the corolla, which is made up of the petals, the andresium, or stamens, and the gynesium, or carpels. All flowers in the borage family have all four whorls, which means we would describe them as complete. We also can describe them as perfect, which means they have both the male and female whorls. Now, when you first look at a plant in this family, it's rather easy to notice the hairy exterior of their leaves, which ward off any potential predators as they can easily cause skin irritation. All members of the Borogenesii family have five sepals, five petals, five stamens, and two carpels. The sepals are all separate, but the petals are connate or united within their whorl. These bee attracting flowers also just demonstrate adenation or fusion between whorls, as the five stamens are attached to the corolla. Another example of conation is in the ovary, which consists of two united carpels. The fruit produced is four separate nutlets, some of which may be missing due to abortion. Their life cycle is dependent on the species and its location, but they can be annual or perennial. These plants reproduce through molidophily, meaning that they rely on bees to help them pollinate and reproduce. Fun fact time! Did you know that sustained use or consumption of the borage family can be toxic due to the poisonous alkaloids they contain? Surprisingly enough though, in low enough quantities, plants in the borage family were often used orally to treat UTIs, PMS, IBS, and even more surprisingly, irritated skin conditions like rashes and eczema. Historically, however, they tended to be most orna mostly used ornamentally due to their interesting hairs and bright colors. The borage is the most well-known plant in the Borogenesii family. Otherwise known as Borgo officinalis, the borage is an annual herb plant that smells and tastes like a cucumber. They are star-shaped and can have vibrant pink and blue colors. As they mature over time, the stems and leaves become hairy. They begin blooming in the late spring and early summer and can grow up to 18 to 36 inches in height. The wildflower forget-me-nots, also known as Myosotis scorpioides, are most known for their bright blue flowers, but secondly for their reputation as spreading wantonly. They are a favorite among gardeners and mass landscapers alike for their vibrance, low maintenance, and long blooming periods, which is approximately three months. These plants are found here in Alabama as well as all across the U.S. The viper's bugloss, or Echium vulgare, is known for its beautiful blue funnel-shaped flowers and bristly hairs. The flowers bloom during June and July and are visited by bees often. The seeds resemble the heads of vipers, which cause people to believe that the plant was a cure for snake bites. The name Echium is even just derived from Echis, a viper. But the leaves, especially those near the base, can actually be used to alleviate pain, headaches, and fever. Some common examples of plants in the Borogenesii family that are found all over Alabama are the Cynoglossum or Hound's Tongue, which is right, sorry for the menu, um, right here, and um, the Haclea or Stick Seed, um, the Onosmodium or Marble Seed, and Lithospermum or Gromble. 
All right, here are our references, which I will be linking in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching.